Right, in this example, we're going to be looking at solving quadratic equations directly using your calculator. Don't worry that this doesn't look like a quadratic yet, we're going to rearrange it in a minute. The calculator I'm going to use to solve this equation is the Casio FX CG50. However, the steps are exactly the same if you have a Casio FX 9860G2. If you're using the Casio ClassWiz, have a look in the description and there's a tutorial on how to use that calculator to solve quadratics as well. So let's get started then. To start with, I need to get this in the form of a quadratic equation. To help you see how to do that, I'm going to add in an optional step where I write 2y to the minus 1 as 2 over y. Next, I'm going to multiply both sides by y. That gives me 7y plus 2 equals 3y squared. And then I'm going to rearrange to get 0 on the left hand side. So I'm going to subtract 7y. I'm going to subtract 2 as well. Now that it's in the correct form, I can simply put it into my calculator. So from the main menu, I want equation mode, which is under A. I'm going to choose polynomial. Quadratics are a type of polynomial. And the degree tells me the largest power. In this case, it's x squared, so I choose 2 by pressing F1. Next, I put my coefficients in for A, B and C. So I press 3 equals b is minus 7 and c is minus 2. Then I press exe and I get my answers. I get 7 plus root 73 over 6 and 7 minus root 73 over 6. At the side I'm going to write bc. Now that's completely optional, you don't have to do that, but if you do that in the exam, it stands for by calculator, and it's an instruction to the examiner that you've solved this equation using a calculator, and then they know not to look for any working out. In the guidance for all exam boards, it says if you could reasonably be expected to solve something using your calculator, then you're perfectly entitled to do so, unless the question specifically says otherwise. For example, if the question says show that, then you might need to show a bit of working out. OK, here's one for you to try for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution. If you didn't get this, I'm going to go through how I got it using my calculator now. First of all, I'm going to multiply both sides by y. That gives me 3y squared plus 13y plus 6. Then I'm going to put it into my calculator. I'm still in the answer from the previous question, so first I press exit. Then I can type in my coefficients, 3, 13 and 6. Press exe and I get minus 13 plus root 97 over 6 and minus 13 minus root 97 over 6.